Hello everyone, today I'm going to present you eLab TW, a free and open source electronic lab notebook. So, this lab notebook is not something that you install on your computer, it's something that is installed on a server, preferentially inside the university network or the, the research institute network. And one eLab TW instance can hold several teams. And each of these teams are independent from each other and they can have different settings and uh, many users inside each team. So it looks like this once you are logged in with your account and uh, you basically have two main aspects. You have the experiments on this side and on the resource tab you have all the resources from your lab and the resources can be of any types and every team is free to define all the different things that they wish to have inside their lab. So on the experiments, let's look at this experiment for instance, uh, we have several attributes to the experiments like the title, like the date, but also a status that, that you can set, some tags that will help you manage uh, and group uh, experiments together. And then if we go in edit mode, uh, we have a full editor with many different uh, cool features that, that you can uh, that you can explore uh, but I cannot show you in three minutes uh, and then you also have the possibility to define extra fields so you have key and values and you are free to have different kind of fields uh, drop down menu, radio button, date, checkbox, uh, URL, uh, a lot of different aspects uh, and all of these you can define them in templates so that uh, when you create an experiment, you do not lose time uh, putting everything. You just have your template and you start from that. Uh, there is also the possibility to add some steps and to mention when the steps is done and to link also experiments together, but also to link experiments to entities that you use inside the um, the, the resource uh, database. So for instance, if I'm using this antibody, I can go inside my experiment and say that I use the anti-brdu and I click on it and now it's present in there and I can see uh, here the, the experiment that is using this antibody. And as you can see also on the antibody types, I have defined many different uh, extra fields uh, for all the, the properties that I would like to see on the antibody. So it's really super flexible and uh, you can also export in many different file formats. And uh, there is also a scheduler uh, that um, allows you to book things and uh, uh, this is a new feature is a dashboard that is not finished yet but because I'm showing you like the, the development version of the software. There is also a search page for advanced uh, thing and it's a software that is used everywhere by many people and you should try it definitely. Thank you. Bye.